What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So one of the things I want to discuss right now are these $2,800 Medicare Flex cards for seniors. I've been getting a lot of questions. Is this real? Is it a scam? Should we expect these over the next you know, month? When should we expect the $2,800? And is it coming as a, as a separate check to, you know, through Medicare? Um, are we going to get it through an actual Flex card? How is this going to work? Well, here's what I want to address. Over the past few weeks, I've got dozens of questions, a lot of comments here on this channel regarding this $2,800 Flex card. So I want to address it. First, is it real? And then is this a scam? Now, first, this is real. There is actually something called a Flex card, and they're providing about $2,800 in many instances for seniors. But here's what you need to keep in mind. First, now I'm not going to give you any names of who to go and get these from because honestly, I do feel that they're they're using uh, you know more tricky uh, techniques to try to get people to switch over to their to a different uh, health insurance plan. So here's what's happening. Yes, this is real. There are $2,800 flex cards out there, and they will help you pay for things like Medicare um, equipment, medical copays over-the-counter prescriptions, and even prescription medication as well. But here's what you need to understand. Here's the catch. If you go and change from, let's say, Medicare or whatever insurance company you are using currently, and you go to a company that is going to offer a, a flex card, here's what you need to understand. This is not through Medicare. This is not a government-funded program. These are privately held companies that are trying to get people to switch from their current providers over to them. So what they're doing is they're trying to give away $2,800 flex cards to seniors to try to entice them to switch over. And the reason for this is actually twofold. Number one, seniors are having a very difficult time right now because the federal government here in the US is not providing much assistance and support outside of the, the programs like Medicare, Social Security and stuff like that. And I addressed this earlier that if you uh, are on Social Security, you're going to see a 5.9% cost of living adjustment. This 5.9% cost of living adjustment may seem like a great idea. It's really going to help you out. Here's the problem is if you are on SNAP benefits as well and you get Medicare, here's the problem. Your SNAP benefits, so your nutrition assistance, it's likely going to decrease because as you make more money, you get less benefits. So it's likely going to decrease. We also know that with Medicare, especially Medicare, I think it's Part D or Part B, that right now it's actually going to go up about 20 some dollars per month in order to account for you know other services that they will be offering maybe this year. So right there, you got uh, you got SNAP benefits going down, you got Medicare prices going up, but yet your benefit goes up a little bit. So in the end, most people are going to see absolutely no difference. But the problem is the cost of living adjustment goes up because it's supposed to help uh, seniors, people on Social Security, pay for things like food, medication, stuff like that. So we'll see what happens there. But what I can tell you is that this is one of the reasons why these companies are targeting seniors because it's going to be very easy for them to go after somebody that's having a very difficult time. But here's the catch. These companies, as a reward for uh, giving you or kind of on a flip side, as it, you know, they're going to give you $2,800 as a flex card, which you can use on different stuff. But the problem is they're going to want a higher monthly premium. Now, this premium is simply going to cover the cost of these cards, plus obviously your, your benefits. So essentially what these companies are doing is, is you're essentially going to pay out of pocket into this, uh, you know, pay into an insurance company, pay your uh, insurance premiums every single month. And the company is going to take part of your premium and they're going to pretty much front load a, a flex card for you. Now the nice thing about this is if you can't save money and you struggle there, this is going to force you to pay the money into the company and they will save it for you. So when you need to use it. But the bad thing is, uh, in many cases, these flex cards are only going to be good. It's going to be a first year promotion. That's it. Meaning, you could potentially lock yourself into a higher monthly premium for the life of your policy, all in order to get a $2,800 flex card that may only last one single year. So you gotta look at the at both sides of this. You know, is this a good thing? Maybe is a bad thing? Most likely, yes. 
But the reason why this is happening is because all across the internet and even you know on our phones and everything right now, there's scammers trying to get seniors to provide banking information, sign up for their special programs and what have you. And they're trying to do just about anything to get seniors into a program with more benefits. But at the same time, it costs more money. But here's what you need to keep in mind. All this stuff's happening because right now, seniors in the United States are struggling to make ends meet during this difficult time. So I don't anticipate the scams and tricks are gonna stop anytime soon, but what I can tell you is you need to be prepared for this. Now, are lawmakers trying to do something to provide more benefits to social security recipients? Yes, they are trying, they're talking, they're discussing. They maybe will get to negotiations, but here's the thing, who knows how long this is gonna take? We don't even know if this would even pass, but what I can tell you is the discussions are there. Now, here's the reason why I wanted to make this video. Number one, I wanted to make this video because I have already seen people that have, or already heard from people that have considered signing up for these different programs because they could use the $2,800 flex card. That would really help them out. But there's a catch. You can't just take that $2,800 and spend it on rent and uh, your utility payments and things like you know food. That's not what you can use this for. They have to be related medical expenses. Like I just stated, these are things like uh, Medicare copays, Medicare equipment, uh, uh, medical copays, Medicare equipment, over the counter medications, and even prescription drugs as well. So there's some stuff that this does cover, but in many cases, you're not going to get the benefit that you were hoping for. But here's what I can tell you there are things that you can do. So if you are struggling right now, first, make sure you go and sign up for every program possible. This could be rental assistance, this could be utility assistance, this could be something as uh, far as uh, your know, broadband coverage. So there's still money in the, in the federal pot to provide $50 per month for people to help them pay for internet. Okay, so if this is something that you've considered or you didn't even know about, it's there. Broadband internet assistance, go and check it out. It's $50 a month. They also will provide you a one-time payment of $100 to go and buy a computer or to help you pay for a computer or different, uh, different uh, hardware. One thing that you do need to understand is I do think you have to pay like a $10 copay and then you get the $100. So it's really like a $90 payment. But again, it could help you out. So right now there's a lot of stuff like that. There's also additional assistance through many cities and counties. So make sure you go in to look into, you know, what city or county are you from, even the state, and determine if there's other assistance programs out there because there is a lot. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot more stuff out there than most people realize, but at the same time, where everyone's getting hit the hardest is gas. Gas prices are still you know, relatively high and food. Again, there is food and nutrition assistance, so make sure you go and apply for that if you aren't sure if you qualify or not. Again, it's easy, it, it takes very little time, go and apply and just see if you qualify. One last thing I just wanna say is I've been getting a lot of different comments as to are we gonna see a fourth stimulus check. Here's the thing, a fourth stimulus check does not look likely at this point. If it did, I would make sure uh, I find any information out about it that I could but it's not looking likely at this point because there's too many lawmakers that would vote against it, mainly Senate Democrats. So just keep in mind, even though many Democrats want to get additional relief out to the American people, it's not looking likely because there are some that would vote against it. And right now in the Senate, we need all 50 Senate Democrats to vote yes and support the bill or else the bill will be dead. So that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on share all the latest news and updates. Again, I just want to share this with you because I want to make sure that you are staying safe, protecting your money, and not giving in to scams, okay? So if you've seen any of these other reports out there, comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what's happening because sometimes I don't see these, but I still want to address them to make sure you guys are protected. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.